started a company about four years ago called Noon, like the time of day, and we incorporate uh, flexible solar panels such as this one into little bags like this. Right now we build all of our bags out of 100% biodegradable materials, so instead of going to the landfill, one day they can be composted and back to the earth where the materials came from originally. It's a cradle-to-cradle -cradle process, and then each one incorporates a flexible solar panel for portable power. So it's a way to integrate renewable energy into daily life. This one's the one I've been using, so it's kind of beat up, but it's a uh, sort of everyday satchel style. The cloth is um, hemp, and it's been naturally dyed and screen printed with water-based inks, and holds lots of things. There's 100% wool felt, and the battery <laughs> charges iPods and cell phones. We hope that by making it fashionable, it's exciting and, and it feels accessible and funky. <laughs> we still like to consume, but can we consume in a way that doesn't kill everything? Because I think there's a bad stereotype out there that, you know, combating global warming must mean that we have to shut down all our factories. It's like, don't shut them down, find a better way. And in a way that I think helps maybe urban people, people who are on the go and have small devices that they want to charge, and it's like one step closer to being off the grid. It's a little tiny baby step. You figure if you can connect anywhere in the world, you should have power anywhere in the world, and the sun is hitting everywhere in the world.